What is up, everybody? Welcome back and welcome to Justice. Today we're reacting to. You used to do it. I don't oh, care. Okay. Today we're reacting to Supernatural Season 7, Episode 19. Last episode, Garth came back. We received a full episode of Garth. The yeah. GOAT. Even though when we were preparing for the episode, we thought we were going to hear, hear more about Cass, which we didn't get, you know what I'm saying? But it's good that it's good that we're now having two episodes in a row where actually she was actually on and popping. Last episode, we got the drink, like, I guess the alcohol type, supernatural type, monster type shit. To me, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think the entire episode was just comedy, like, comedy relief. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we, the main, main thing that we all took from that is Bobby King. Well, well Bobby's still here. And that's why Dean holds on to that flask. You know what I'm saying? The supernatural, we saw it. We liked it. You liked it. But you know what I'm saying? We don't want to focus on that because that's not even part of the main storyline. And even Bobby's not a part of the main storyline because we're supposed to be talking about Leviathans. But it's good that we actually see that he is still here. I don't know if you guys can explain that in the comments, but his body did get burned. So if he does come back to life, I'm going to need to explain that. I'm calling, I'm kind of like... Hey, ben just, said since like season one that ghosts can attach to... No, 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 but I'm talking about, like, if the character... You know how they're always bringing characters back somehow, some way? Okay. They're not bringing Bobby back. If Bobby were to come back, I would need a full-on explanation, like, in-depth as to how he actually physically got back if his body was burned. And that's all what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's why I mentioned this, like, little statement right here. I mean, how did Cass get back? He, he got snapped and exploded. He just exploded in a lake. We didn't know... No, in season five, at the end. That's godly stuff. I don't. I, 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 I can't. I can't tell you how. Well, maybe God come back and bring Bobby back. That's know? not happening. I can't explain how that happens. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know right now. That's not fucking happening. If they want to do good writing, they would do something like this. Dean and Sam, you have a choice. Either we get Bobby back, or then get John back. Because for the fan base, that would hear me out though. For that fan base, that would be huge. Because we'd be like, because if they were, if they said John is the only way we can defeat. I'd be like, why, against? why, why, why randomly bring John into this? Like, oh, wait, don't, 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 don't just write off John like John's not. No, but he hasn't been in the story for so long. Like, I know, but if, like, he, I, we, I know he hasn't been in here in like seven seasons, but Bobby or John, like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'd be lost. why? Is that? Okay. Be like, you guys like, lost. Me, like maybe if he was involved and they both died at the same time, then you get to choose one. That makes sense. What I mean to say is, if there was a build up. To saying like fuck if we had John back this would be so much easier and then God finally comes down from the heavens is like look I can give you this one thing but you have a choice one can come back and one is gonna be gone forever all right you choose us is the and then say it said to be continued on some fucking Attack on Titan shit us as the fan base would be like oh do we bring back the fucking dad that they should have always had or do we bring back the dad. Or do we bring back the dad that they need right now to defeat what they're up against? I'm telling you, you know what I should say. We should I, give it I like need to start writing fucking shows. You know what I should say. We should really give it. We should really give it like a moment of silence to like just acknowledge on how like this show at least has a story like has a decent main storyline that people want to follow on for multiple ass seasons. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. For the for the first like three seasons, it was mainly on like. Them avenging Mary's death, you know. Oh, that's her name, right? The mom mm -hmm. avenging Mary's death, and then after season five, we had no more uh, yellow eyes, and then after that, it became we like, had more, we had no more yellow eyes season three because the dad died, John died. Whenever they opened, I can't, can't just John continue. died like season four, you just continue. continue. You see how like we're in like season what eight now. Seven. Yeah, think about it. They were trying to avenge Mary's death, and now we're all the way in season seven where we're worried about Leviathans and shit like that. So much shit has happened between now and then. I'm just kind of like appreciating how much like the storyline has changed, and it's always been relatively interesting, even though they kind of tie stuff back in from the old, uh, older episodes. Well, yeah, right, Which right, is right. why ish, we should, sorry to cut you off. We should bring certain characters back, like John. That's all I'm saying. My bad. I just wanted to appreciate that. Hey, okay, well, let's just get to the episode. Even though the world's going to crap. There's one thing that I can always count on. These things tasting the same in every drive through in every state in our great nation. To this day, Jack in the Box has the worst fucking tacos I've ever had in my life. Yet yeah, they're very favorited by so many people. That shit is disgusting. It's like one dollar. <laughs> yeah, so it tastes like one dollar. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. <laughs> you working? Always. You guys anywhere nearby? Near enough. Cool. Why don't we meet at the Purefront restaurant? Lunch? One o'clock? Yeah, bye. She is reminds me. Her voice reminds me of a. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. No, no. 
Joe's mom, like the way she talks, doesn't Ellen? she sound like yeah? Or Ellen? Yeah. She looks familiar though. Cops. For sure. That'd make it probably harder for me. I'd be like, bro, we're about to get caught. Let's go. Fuck y'all, bro. That, that would make it harder for me. It wouldn't. It wouldn't make shit for me. I'd be like, yeah, you're tripping. We're out of here. We're out of here. What? Whoa. Yeah. You shouldn't have come here. Run, Run guys. Run. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, they actually died. So she's obviously not, not gonna make it for long. I'm not sure to be insensitive, but sometimes when you really think about it, is this the people that we really want roaming the earth? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be insensitive. But Nathan, really hear me out. Who are you talking about? The kids. I mean, the kids. I'm gonna go. Bro, Nathan, this was never us. I'm gonna go into an not abandoned- everyone is, Not everyone's the same, Cameron. An abandoned crib and light some candles. Yeah, like that doesn't happen in real life. No. It 100% happens. You and I went into an abandoned house. I get it, you but know, uh, what? You know she and Bobby had a thing, right? To spend the night and have a- no. Yeah, you sound kind of disappointed. And even though I wish we could see him again, doesn't mean that we should. They're gonna see him, I'm telling you. Some way, somehow, some way. Are we being stood up? Again, you've had a spot a lot of them like to poke around just where they went missing. Yeah? Yeah, old Van Ness house. It's, uh... Well, please call the place. They always come up dry. What the fuck do you notice right now, Cameron? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, they don't see him, but yeah. It just makes that curtain mm -hmm. shimmy. Hundreds. Could you look in the right place at the right just time? Like years back? The tapers? Probably because it creeps their case, so... Oh, this is exhausting. He's sitting there. Isn't him being a ghost he'll eventually get corrupted? Right? They say. Left the flask. There you get to go. Jimmy Bell Bobby. Chili. See, I'd have an attitude. I'd be like, bro, what the fuck are y'all looking at? Alright? Why are like, y'all just standing around not talking? Like, we're ghosts. We should Dude, be chilling. Yeah. <laughs> We're ghosts. Fucking haunt. Or some shit like that. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'll be having a bad. Be ordered to haunt. <laughs> Hell, man. Like, no. Yeah, that's just the argument we were having earlier. Don't tell me who, like, how to be. That's what I'm saying. Without... Start dancing around a fire and chanting. See, that's that bullshit, bro. Blow darts. <laughs> and I have this shit. <laughs> Don't do it again. Bobby? Oh! Annie. She died. I feel like I was drugged. I get it. I figure it was a month before I even knew I was still here. You're doing well. Did you duck your reaper too? What? No, I never even saw one. Maybe if you die in the house, your spirit stays in the house? Hey, I got unfinished business here, same as you. Uh-huh, and there's my unfinished business right now. Kids! Hello? Yeah, are y'all deaf? I tried to help the boys out once by knocking a book off the table and blacked out for two weeks. Damn! You know? Sam and Dean don't even know you're here? Oh, what the fuck? I've seen that acting before. But if he can do it... <laughs> oh! I mean, how does that make sense that you're sitting down on the couch though? Thank you. I got shot right in the melon. I was stabbed. Yeah. Right here at this bar, April 17th, 1932. Who done you? I'm really very busy. You're a ghost, bro. You have nothing but time. Could you do me a solid and show me how to move that chair? You're angsting at it. You've got two ways to move things. What I did, which you obviously must, is calm yourself. You're saying this, but you are obviously agitated from us talking to you. What's option two? You said there were two ways. Oh, you could use explosive anger and pure red-hot rage. Vengeful spirits. I am vengeful. You think I don't have red-hot rage? I think you're a sad excuse for one of us. Damn! Damn. What? Fuck? I think he's been hating on Bobby this entire time, you guys. 
the fuck? That's all of us. We deteriorate at different rates, some sooner, some later, and eventually all like that. Damn. Damn. Sam! Dean! Honey, don't you think I've tried that? I shouted myself hoarse. I'm Victoria. I know the kind of work you do. Did. Hey, I'm still doing it. I mean, other dimensionally speaking. Had a girl. <laughs> You're still doing your job outside of your job, like life? Oh! Bobby. Well, they left though, right? Yeah. The house dates back to the mid 19th century. Miles Van Ness made his fortune in the gold rush. He lived in isolation till his death at age 40. He's still there. Who's the, uh, the bruiser there? Dexter O'Connell. That's, that's the fool that's killing everybody. A lady came by the other day asking all sorts of questions. Dirties, red hair, good looking. Mm. <laughs> I gave her the same advice I'll give to you. Stay away from the place. That has me inspired not to go. So what's the next move? You know, if I could, I'd be getting old waiting on you two to figure this out. Damn. <laughs> All right, now, I can kill werewolves, fix a pinto, and bake cornbread. The fuck does baking cornbread have to do with anything? Because he's a tough ass skill. Last known whereabouts? The Van Ness house. Since the cops haven't done crap. In what may be the final moment. Are these the new fucking story. ghost facers? Like. They've been together since, like, eighth grade. Why does he look like Mark? Uh, like. Like. The guy who made Facebook. You know what I'm talking about, right? Zuckerberg. Yeah. What a shit. He did it. I said, who's there? Oh. So he's moving. Okay, let's go. Dean's gonna flip the fuck out. Bobby. Bobby. He walked through. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be a little bit skeptical on them if I was Dean. Because mm -hmm. Dean is always trying to fucking play that bullshit. I'm gone. Dexter. I expressly forbid you! Meant to be them, like you're so confused right now. Oh, I'd be like, bro, what the fuck? Oh! Wait, so what if it's. Wait a minute. Dexter. He tried to warn them away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dexter was trying to save them. They're just children, Whitman. Oh, fuck. I think he's consuming the ghost to keep his life. Because remember how the lady said that everybody has an eventual death? Seems like it. Him consuming the ghost uh, gains more time. So he's killing people to make more of them so he can keep on... So he can just keep on living in that house. <clears throat> we don't meddle in women's affairs. Let's get real. You sent me the SOS and now I'm here. So give me a hand. But now he can get you too. You sent me no SOS. I got, got me killed. You better help me. I was saying he can get me. How I died already. See, I thought that Whitman was some poor guy, and Dexter killed his fiance. No, Whitman framed him. When this house was a brothel, I worked here as a fancy lady. Fancy lady, a hooker. Please. Yeah, bro, have some respect. A fancy lady. Where the fuck did he take him? Some valid questions. What? Check it out. They've been together since like eighth grade. Yeah, they entered this house and texted us. Uh, I hate these indie films. Nothing ever happens. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you have to do it. Annie! We can't. Annie! It's too dangerous. These guys can help. They just need to know that we're here. Annie! Hey, Victoria, it's not stepping up. Oh! You can't see her. No, you're not standing on her. <laughs> you want to just tell them? Annie's in terrible danger. From? Whitman Van Ness. Oh, damn, my yeah. God. Oh, damn. Oh, well, so much for that. Gone. But how did Whitman Van whatever get the power to do this? You know what I'm Maybe that's the so that's how Whitman Van Ness can travel with them even outside, cause he's he's attached to the key. And Bobby yep. did not. Yep. Now Bobby's trapped in there, dumbass. 
Oh, because another item came in and he which That's what they would make wait time out, time out. That's so dumb though. Cause that means any any monster that's in there, any fucking spirit that's in there, can just put their item in a pocket of a person that's already there, you know what I'm saying? Their, bo their body is trapped in a room that Whitman Van Ness can only get into. Well, we searched everywhere else. I'm telling you, Whitman guards his room like Fort Knox. Yeah, that's Victoria. But where did he get her corpse? There's a fucking smell in there. For sure. Her body's in there too, yep, yeah, for sure, yep. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think happens to him? Heaven, hell, or none of the above? Just gone. Yeah, that's actually very interesting, though. All I had was work. It's gone now. Yeah, well, I ain't done. Okay, fine, but I am. Oh, there you go. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? And for action purposes, that must have been hella scary. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dumbass. Okay. Damn, it's kind of interesting though. So what Adam kind of defines you as your item, you know? Whatever you're most attached to. Oh, damn. Of all people, too, Bobby. Oh, okay, let's go. Your hospitality, motherfucker, you killed me. Well, you got taken, so congrats. Well, so not everybody in the house is free, you know? Should be. Or they're still stuck to the house, that's what I would believe, you know? Hi, boys. What? They can see him. Bobby? What? No. Bro, no. There's no way. There's no fucking way. There's no way. He's not physically there. Hi, Annie. Uh, hi, Annie. Hi, guys. She says you both look uglier than she remembers. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you never answered me. I tried calling you the uh, talking board. I was always alone. Dean always had that thing in his pocket. Makes sense. Everything will get answered if you just listen, Dave. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Cameron, eat a dick, bro. Oh my god. Annie and I found all the bodies. Let's put them to rest. And keep my damn flask away from the fire. Obviously. <laughs> They're debating it. Because, like, think about it. Let's lay them to rest, put them to peace. And is also put Bobby in peace? peace. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, is he at peace? What are you thinking, Bobby? How is it his fault he knew he was being in heaven right now, drinking beer at Harvell's, not not stuck stuck here with you. We still have work to do. DM. That was kind of hard. Yeah. Fuck no, Dean's right. Fuck that bullshit, bro. Come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm still with Dean here. Like, what the hell? Like, we thought we gave you a hundred dead. What the fuck? We went through all that grieving and all that shit for you to just be back. Come on. We did what we should do. No, I don't know. But you know what I do know? It ain't the natural order of things. Everything know. is supposed to end. I mean, you want a body, so I mean... Nah. What are the odds this ends well? He's right there, yeah? What are the odds? That is so creepy though, bro, because you always know somebody's just like... There. Yeah, right. Like you're talking about him right there, like he's not there. Like, but you know he's there. Like that's that's tough. I'm gonna be real, John. As great as it is having Bobby there, I don't think I'd want him there. And even if it was one of my loved ones, like as great as it would be to have you there, it, it would do me much better to have me know that you're somewhere in peace, laid to rest. You are. You are not. Maybe being with him is his peace. Huh? Maybe being with them is his peace. Bro, then There's say no that. Then no say way. that, bro. But even if that is the case, the end all for you is for you to be corrupted. 
So why would your your peace with me is for what? Two years, three years, and then you're corrupted. Fuck out of here, bro. No. Be to heaven. No. After you're corrupted, I have to do the one thing I don't want to do. Well, you already did it before, right? Uh, when I did it before, I thought that was it. Yeah, but now you get actually two to three years with me. You're a piece of shit, and I have to go through this again. I have to go through getting rid of you again. Yeah, but no. you know you have the pleasure no. of knowing I'm in heaven. Nathan, quit with the fucking bullshit, all right? After you're done, you're done. I already gave you the hundreds of I already grieved, cried, told the family about this shit. I don't need to do it again, bro. No. <laughs> family about this shit. That's fucking weird, all right? I'm happy that Bobby's back. Don't get me wrong, but that's... No. Dean's absolutely right, bro. Bobby, you're supposed to be in heaven. We gave you a hundred death. That should just be it. And if, honest, if I'm being real, if it was up to me, I will tell Dean, bro, you need... It's time. It's about that time you need to let go, bro. It... Come on. We need to burn this flask and just let that be that. Man... I think it's still wrong. I think it's wrong because if they gave him a hunter's death and they believe that he was actually dead because they wanted to re lay, lay him to peace, it's not right for him to be attached to a certain item to not be laid for peace if that's the reason we burned him in the first place. Because if that wasn't the reason we burned him in the first place, we would have just kept him alive. I was going to ask you guys, like, bro, if that was true, and do you think, like, when we're buried, because we're buried here on Earth, like, we stay alive here on Earth until our body deteriorates to then when we, when we fully disappear? What would you guys do? You know what I'm saying? Because they think about it. You see how like ghosts can't see humans can't see ghosts. You see that? You know what I'm saying? Well, real quick, man. I just need I just need to make sure of something. Are we talking in hypotheticals if ghosts are real? Yes, okay. this is what we're doing. Yeah. If if you like when you die and then when you get buried, if you live on Earth until they like, especially depending on how you're buried. Let's say you get cremated and then you officially die. Like, boom, the judgment has been said. You go to heaven or hell. But what if you don't get cremated and you get buried, you know what I'm saying, and then you live out on earth until your body deteriorates to then, like, lead to judgment? What would you do? You know what I'm saying? Would you haunt? You know what I'm saying? Or would you... Would you haunt? Why would you haunt? <laughs> would you... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, would you haunt or would you just roam the earth trying to speak to other ghosts even though they can't... Even Why not they... roam the earth? You go see everything you ever want to see, right? It's true. Cameron, I'd roam the earth and then I would chop it up with everybody who's dead... And it'd be fucking grand. Because y'all really can't tell me shit. Oh, you need to pay taxes in the afterlife. The fuck I do? They did have a whole society in the afterlife. I'd, I'd be fucking, fucking hot as fuck. Like, I'd be hella mad. Oh, now that you're here. Oh, no, David. Get ready to pay some taxes. Exactly. I'd be there. I guess you gotta go to the... I guess you gotta find another job. Yeah. Oh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, no. I'd be that motherfucker complaining about everything. I died? For this? No. I'd be like, bro, send me to jail. I'm Wherever done. the ghost jail is, send me to that shit right now, because I'm not doing this shit. Ghost jail? No, I wouldn't go to ghost jail. I would. There's a law system when it comes to being a ghost? No. You feel me? Just dead again. You feel me? And then it's over. But okay, that's what I'm saying. What if dead again was just life again, but in the afterlife? I'd go, I'd go to my, I'd burn myself. I'd go to my body and find a way to touch it and then burn myself. I'm not saying these episodes are not, like, cool episodes, but this is very entertaining for me. I, I feel like they're just trying to throw some episodes into this season just to get it, like, beefed up, and then they're going to give us some more Dick Roman. That's all I care about right now. Give us some more Dick Roman, all right? And let's hurry up and get to killing that food because two episodes we just seen, we didn't get anything about Dick Roman or Cass. We, we, get, we did get everything on Bobby, which is nice. You know what I'm saying? That character right here, old girl who just died, she I'm came in and then got deleted. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be real with y'all. She died. We did not see her all the other seasons. So for us to see her right now, I was gonna be like, she came in like she was a new hunter that was important. Thank you. Like I, I was like, oh shit, here's a character that I'm probably gonna have to give a fuck about, just for her to die in two seconds, like that. Well, she wasn't that great of a hunter, obviously. Okay, Nathan, she died. Well, Nathan, Nathan, come on, bro. Nathan, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking if she wasn't that great of a hunter, ass. if she wasn't that great of a hunter, then Garth must be fucking top tier. You go, Garth, Garth, Garth is a god. Oh, Garth was be fucking top tier of a fucking hunter because oh, she seemed no, like goaded. she seemed like she was in her when she appeared on screen. She seemed like she did her profession for a long ass minute for her to get fucking beat up in two seconds. No, See Garth that? is just that guy. Especially if she said she wanted to retire. Garth seems like he's newly in the game but still goaded. I'm not. Right. He is just that guy. What do you want? What do you want to ask? <laughs> No. Garth needs to fucking chill. All right, his whole love interest with that little fucking psychotic chick, it needs to end, all right? We must be really going through the episodes of Supernatural because, realistically, I don't know how close we are to the next season, but damn, they don't like... 
Cameron. The main storyline is so out of focus right now, which is not a bad thing. But yes, it is a bad thing, Cameron. Fuck the sugar code. All right, it is a bad thing. All right, Supernatural, please get back on fucking schedule. All right, get back to Dick Roman. All right, that's who. That's the only person we care about, and him dying. All right, get to that. All right, y'all can call me insensitive. I don't fucking care. All right, get I mean, back to Dick unless Roman. Unless the Leviathans are just this important to fucking beings, because for them to be the biggest thing, you know what I'm saying, leading to Cass's death, and then for him to now be back. So then all these episodes that are not about him, about how Bobby is playing into this and all that. There better be some catastrophic thing that, has that happens at the end of the season, because what the fuck? Cameron, if I don't see Cass in the next episode, Crowley in the next episode, or Dick Roman. Literally, Dean is the only thing that's keeping me hanging on to this fucking show. Two bro. episodes we go. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it such a band. Two right episodes now. we go, we saw the Leviathans in control of the hospital that Meg was now working at that Cass is being held at. And yet we got no I feel like Bobby the pretty big focus. That had nothing to do with the Leviathans or that. Yeah, but you don't care about Bobby? No, we do care about Bobby, but damn, mate. Nathan, shut the fuck up, all right? You are so full of shit, all right? You don't like Bobby? Uh, no, you don't like seeing Bobby at all? I, no, I love seeing Bobby when he was in the real life. Him in the afterlife is just depressing. My guy, it is And then all these, fucking, all these right? ghosts in a house not. having no reapers? And that is the process of your death? Do you know how many fucking reapers are waiting for work? And there's a fucking house of them right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe that maybe that ghost would keep them there for The ghost died. That house, everybody in that house is freed. Be reaped. Right? That shit, bro, this is fucking ridiculous. Right? Maybe all the reapers are busy. There's no way. Reapers busy? There's, there's no other, way. There's other people dying. Who die every day? Now. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Yeah, people die every day, so they're obviously busy. There's enough reapers to be able to fucking reap. Who? There is. How do you know how many reapers there are? Because that one I'll, episode I'll, with death. Yeah, when death. That was whole town of reapers. When, I was like, when damn. Death, when death was standing over that diner, yeah, there were busy. billions of reapers. I don't want to say billions, but maybe they're busy. Following maybe death. The they're busy following death. <laughs> maybe or no. reaping other people. Uh, well, hurry up, my guy. There's a fucking house full of them right here, ready for you. Hurry up, finish your other jobs. We have a whole other fucking track list for you, bro. Man, miss me that bullshit, all right? That's so what I'm saying, bro. Kevin, I did you no, no, David, no, 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 no. I didn't even have to shed on light, shed light on it. I know what you were trying to say. All right, then. Then don't even fucking do that Nathan shit where you, like, try to make me out to be dumb when I'm not being dumb, all right? Real shit. Reapers, let's go. I'm letting you know right now. If me and Cameron ever pass away. You don't want me to, you want me to burn whatever you're attached to? Yes. Why would you still want us here? I'm gonna purposely keep you here now. Why would you still want us here to talk more in, shit? In spite of you, yes. Now, yeah, yeah. The views. The views. <laughs> yes. A ghost reacting to a TV show? Nathan. That'd be hella weird. Long after me and Cameron's time has come, we are not gonna be sitting here being like, I mean, you guys are advocating I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You feel me? Cameron. You gotta live forever? That's the beauty about being no, a human. They, bro, they say death is inevitable. I live forever, bro. It, it just happens like that. You feel me? I don't speak shit into existence like you motherfuckers are trying to do right now. No. You're literally trying to speak shit into existence right now. You say you're gonna live forever? That's These bones easy. and all that I'm shit. I'm just not following the fucking narrative. You feel me? Motherfuckers gonna be like, oh, death is a part of life. Yeah, cool. I guess, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you can say. What do you mean, I guess? <laughs> it's a part of life. That's crazy. It why are you going by the narrative? You mean, I'm, not I'm not going by the narrative. I'm going by what the fuck it is, all right? You're born, you live, you die. No, no, that's what it no is. one has ever not died, so. Cameron, we've actually, you, you know what the crazy thing is? You and I have already had this conversation. That's what makes death the is beauty about to, of, Death is about to be a beautiful ass fucking thing. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm actually, I'm, I'm backwards on it now. Death is about to be beautiful as fuck. <laughs> and now you're following, now you're following the narrative. Because I, bro. It is what the fuck it is. I can't stop it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now you can't bro, stop it. What the fuck, fuck does your mind go, bro? I can't stop it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what the fuck it is. But at the end of the day, death is about to be beautiful as fuck, bro. I don't understand why death has to be such a sad thing where people have to show up wearing black. You better show up wearing white or my type of color or some shit. That'd be like lit as fuck, bro. Cameron. Like, Nathan, if you die, wouldn't you want everybody to show up in like a Broncos jersey? Be like, yep. No. No. The fuck? We, we are not at here. a game. All right. We are at a fucking death. A funeral. We are not here to talk about what the fucking score is. Steph Curry and Selena Gomez got to come to Nathan's funeral and just lay right next to him for the entire for the entire ceremony. And then when it ends, they can get a pay their respects and leave. 
exactly how Nathan's funeral we're gonna go. That's not gonna make. I'm leaving right now, camera. If some shit like that happens, I'm walking away like you guys are fucking weird. All right, <laughs> what? This is a funeral. What the fuck are y'all doing? All right, say some you nice that, shit. You hear drop the uh, flowers, walk the fuck away, bro. That's hear, what it is. You hear that? Uh, you hear that thing that Johnny Depp said once he does how he wants to, his funeral to be? No, it did not, Cameron. Cremate him, put him in some wine, have everybody at the funeral drink it. I find that magical as fuck, though. I am not doing that shit if I <laughs> had to be there. I find that magical. I'm not drinking you. <laughs> I, <laughs> Nathan, I get it because when you think it's about so it full circle, you're gonna be like, "Oh, who, who are you, Jesus? Fuck like, no. what the fuck? Hey, no, I get it. That's like, actually hey, when you think about it, that's something like that is like. That's genius. That's genius. That is mad psychotic. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> it's disgusting, but... It's disgusting, but somebody like... That's way to take advantage of a vulnerable moment amongst people. I dare someone to fucking invite me. Like, <laughs> I dare someone to invite me to the funeral. I'm not going. Uh, a part of the funeral service, we drink him. You know... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, imagine that you shit on the contract and you have to do it. You have to sign a contract and you have to do oh it. Oh my space. god. Imagine that shit on the invitations like if you guys want to show up, this is what is the last thing you have wine, to do. Bring your own glass. You'll be I drinking mean, me. I'd be hell of a Oh, what did he die of? What did he die of? Oh, his blood sugar was too high. Well, I'm diabetic, so. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna risk my chances. Oh my god, Kevin. Hey, that in itself would be fucking. I would die. I'd literally no, be like, bro, like, there's no, no way I'm showing up to this shit. I'm not, even, I'm not even just speaking out my ass right now. Like, you really, really look up. Johnny Depp actually said, like, that's how he want his funeral, funeral to go. And I admire the fuck out of that shit, bro. Because how the hell do you have a plan set up? You have a plan set up like that for after you die. You're gonna be the only one of just us that's going to that. Because me and Nathan are gonna be sitting here chilling, like so. Okay. That motherfucker okay. camera is weird. So what if I had logical? What if I? What if I was logical about it? And I was gonna be like, okay, when I pass away, you have to stuff me type shit. Exactly. Whatever, and whatever family member. It's alive on. and breathing. Has to have me in the living room, just chilling next to the piano. We have to stuff your flesh. And I have to be standing yeah. up smiling <laughs> Absolutely. at all times. I'm letting you know right now, Kevin, that's not fucking happening. Okay? It's my funeral. It, that's great. Your shit's not getting away. Your, your voices are not getting granted. I'm like, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That is mad ass fucking Who, Who's going to argue with me about it? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh, don't make Cameron mad. Who are we? How? Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. I can't wait to be a ghost. That shit's going to be fucking lit. Bro, so, okay, okay. Let's stop talking about, like, death, bro. <laughs> we're, we're living. <laughs> let's support. Let's let's talk in the living. Man. <laughs> support the living. Let's support the living. Cause then we imagine about it. If we're talking about that, we could have dead people around us right now. Now you fucking know about it. Yeah. What if they're pissed at us? Cause it's we're talking shit about them. them. We're talking shit about them, but we can't even hear them respond in roast to us. Yeah. What? Yeah. What if they're genuinely pissed? Because they're like, you guys are talking it up, but we are genuinely suffering over. Okay. Then. Oh, 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 y'all think this is funny? We're actually dead around here roaming. Okay. Then. We're sorry. It's like. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Imagine being a ghost and wanting to be. Oh me. my G lord! No, one is bro. Hey, no, hell, no, no, negative. No. My name is Davion. It's mad fucked up. It's all I'm saying. <laughs> Nathan. That's mad fucked. Bro, dead ass. It has been just us. All right, I'm not doing this. It's mad fucked up. <laughs>